Hi, this is Denise from Foursquare Mark Farm, and this is the intro to the beginner's spinning tutorial. And this particular series of tutorials is designed mostly for my Angora Bunny Spinners group on Facebook, but everyone is welcome to join. Uh, the plan is to start the first week of January after I've finished all the projects I have at hand. So, like I said, this is just the intro video to give you a little bit of information and kind of what your appetite for the lessons. Now, the main important thing is to give you an idea of what supplies you're going to need. And concerning that this is the Christmas or holiday season, um, I figured I'd give you the list so that if you need to put this on somebody's list, uh, you can go ahead and do that and maybe get these items for the holiday season. So basically, a lot of times you hear that you should start your beginning spinning with spindles. So of course, I have some spindles here. And uh, these are basically, well, they're basic spindles. Now, interestingly, I have, you know, a couple different types of spindles. Um, primarily my work is on a wheel, so I don't have like a really large collection of spindles. But I do have some. And of all the spindles that I have, this simple spindle right here is the one that I spin with the most. And basically, I just put this spindle together and I painted it. And it's been through quite a bit with me. It weighs about 1.3 ounces. And so it is just light enough, as you can see, that I can spin pretty thin as far as Angora is concerned. And it's still heavy enough that I have used the spindle for other wools. So for me, this is a perfect middle size spindle. Now you can make your own spindle, uh, or if you're not inclined to make your own spindle, uh, what I've done is I've put together a kit um, in my Etsy shop that you can buy the spindle and the roving. And this right here, is um, it's a mystery wool and it looks to me a lot like a long wool so I have long wools and I have some of the uh, Peruvian wool which is like it's a mixed blend of medium wools and I do recommend uh, and I say pretty much I'm uh, on board with a lot of the other recommendations sometimes I do things a little differently than what they advise for beginners but in this case I am of the opinion that a good medium wool is a good idea and mainly because um, the medium wools are going to have uh, decent crimp. They're going to uh, be easier to spin um, and they have really good catch grab with each other. Um, also, um, they're harder to, yeah, I want to say harder to damage. Uh, when you're starting with a wool like merino or the fine wools, those type of wools tend to require a little extra twist. And um, they are a little prone to felting. So you might find that they're a little tricky when you're spinning spindle because you need an extra twist. And if you don't, they'll fall apart. So you, you kind of find that sometimes, especially with the Angora. Um, it's very smooth. Even with crimp, it's still very smooth and prone to slipping and it also needs a lot of extra twist um and then um well the long wools pretty much i just say the same with those guys so you want something medium and you also want something that's not like dangerously expensive because um you might have a four ounce braid and when you get done with spinning and it's it may or may not be lumpy or bumpy but you may only get, you know, like barely 100 yards out of it where an experienced spinner might get a couple hundred yards. So you may not be able, you might go through a whole lot of fiber, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So you might go through a whole lot of fiber and you don't want to shell out a great deal of money going through a whole, a whole lot of fiber that you may or may not like or be able to use when you get done. So it's just kind of a practical thing. Of course, like if you're just like out of the pocket rich, well, it doesn't really even matter. Just do whatever you feel like. <laughs> or if you're adventurous, because people have learned to spin on alpaca 
and on Angora because of course, what were people in Peru doing? They had alpacas. They spun alpacas. They learned how to spin alpaca. And I mean, in the, in the Turkish um, Angoras, they learned how to spin the rabbit fur. So that's what they spun. Of course, they had goats too, but still, that's a smooth fiber. So when you're looking at those regions where those particular animals are native, um, you know, how they dealt their learning to spin wool first and then going to the, the alpaca or the angora or whatever. So that's just something that we say to make it easier for beginners. And so I just suggest, you know, help yourself out, take the easy route. Okay, so anyway, my whole point is that <laughs> I, I set up uh, on my Etsy store where you can get a spindle and a couple ounces of uh, a roving. Uh, dyed or undyed or whatever, whatever you like. And also, if you already have your spindle, then you can just get the roving. Um, of course, I have wheels. I have lots of wheels. Well, maybe not lots of wheels, but I've got wheels. I've got an Irish tension wheel. I've got a Scotch tension wheel. I have a double drive wheel. So if you are going to start spinning on a wheel, which I did, I didn't start spinning on the spindle, but I'll tell you that story later. So if you are going to start spinning on a wheel because you have one or you are a little more advanced or more advanced and you would like to learn the wheel, you know, just let me know uh, in the comments and I will do a half and half videos or even completely separate videos. Uh, to kind of walk you through the wheel operation. And when you do, let me know the type of wheel that you have because set up, of course, for the Irish tension, Scotch tension, and double drive wheels are totally different. Um, though the concept of drafting uh, is basically the same for the spindle and the wheel. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. I can't wait till the series starts. And hopefully you'll be able to join me. And don't worry if you can't join me when it starts or every time I post a video. The wonderful thing about videos is you can put them in your queue and play them at your leisure. Share this with your friends. Share this with your family. And I'll see you then. The links to everything I'm talking about will be down in the description below. Have a great holiday.